and welcome to Caravan Escapades. Hope everybody's keeping safe and well. Well, this is it. It's his new caravan day and gosh, we are excited. Um, the other thing we thought we'd do as it's new caravan day, it's new logo day as well. So we hope you like the new logo. Um, really hope you like that and you approve. So we're really excited. We're heading off to MG and we'll catch up with you when we get there. So there may be a bit of traffic noise, but we're here. We just pulled up, Claire and I pulled up, so we're gonna go in uh, and we're gonna go and see the caravan. Here it is. There it is. Can you see it? Now that looks smart. It's the first time we've been able to see it properly all the way round. Yeah, that looks really, really nice. So it's all set up, ready to do our handover and run through all the systems. See you in a bit. Here's just a quick view from the other side. So we're just running through a few things with Lucy. Um, sorry about that motorbike, I wasn't planning on that. So we're just running through a few things with Lucy. And then we're gonna get a full rundown on how everything works. So we're all hitched up. We've gone and run through everything that we need to run through uh, with Lucy. Everything's been great. The handover has always has been absolutely fantastic. We are coming back in four weeks time just to have a further couple of bits done to the caravan and a few bits changed that we're, uh, we want changing. Uh, but yeah, no, there she is. All ready to go. We're on our way home now. So we picked up the caravan. We're about, how long has it left MG? About 15, 20 minutes ago, something like that. Yeah. Um, so we've got, what, just a little over an hour to get home. Uh, quite looking forward to getting that caravan home and start putting our mark on it. I know you're keen to put flowers and various bits out, aren't you? And not real flowers. We've got some kind of, you know, the IKEA specials, those sorts of things. Plants. But plants, sorry, not flowers. Just, just making our own mark on the caravan. So we're really looking forward to that. Um, we bought another quilt while we're down there for the bunk bed for Darcy May. So we've got an extra quilt. Uh, not from MG. <laughs> hey, oh no, we didn't buy the quilt from MG. We bought it from the Tesco's around the corner. <laughs> um, and the other surprising thing that was a bit of a surprise is the caravan has got onboard water tank. So I had no idea about that. I don't know how I'd miss that in the spec or anything like that. So that's going to be a new thing for us. Whether we use it or not, I don't know. Um, if you guys have got onboard water tanks, tell me how you get on with it or let us know how you get on with it and how you find it. Anyway, we're going to carry on home and we'll catch up with you soon. Oh, she's home we've got home got her leveled up got a few bits sorted um, yeah Quite excited really so not gonna do much more tonight just got the power on and I think tomorrow we should start putting all our bits back <laughs> and maybe not put as much back in as we took out the other one so we'll pick up with you again tomorrow it's the following morning, it's Saturday morning, and to be fair, we didn't do a great deal last night after getting the caravan home and levelled up and kind of having a good look round inside and that sort of thing. So it's not done a lot there, but today we plan to get all our bits, all our stuff back inside. Uh, as I probably said previously, we don't expect to put everything back in and I'm going to be fitting things like, I'm going to put the pads on, um, the, oh, what do you call them, the steady locks, those sorts of stuff, and start putting a bits and putting our mark on it. So that's a couple of jobs done. So we fitted steady locks here. We fitted the Malenko pads on the legs. And the reason for going those Malenko pads is because I've got the stack of jackers. So when you need that extra height and that sort of thing, and we've done it on the back there as well. And I bought a set, separate, separate tube lock um, from MG when we were down there. Goes in these tubes and locks are steady. So that's all four steadies locked now i have one alco on i do have another one but i tried to jack it up last night and get the one lined up just wouldn't work i couldn't get it up there so i am going to fit my malenko wraiths anyway 
So another job that I've done um, is I've swapped the battery terminals over for a more kind of automotive style. It gives you the options to uh, to have some spare capacity to add other things. And I don't know, I just I just like them. I think they're a bit more robust. They're a bit firmer. Um, just work a bit better, I think. It always seems to be that they put cheap battery terminals on on a caravan you spend all this money on a caravan and then you get cheap battery terminals so i've just swapped those over we're getting there it's starting to look homely they're still putting a few bits in claire's done the beds lot there's the bunks don't know whether she put anything out in here oh yeah just starting to sort things out here put some towels up and things we're getting there. So it's been a busy day. We've been getting things ready, putting all our bits back in the caravan. And wow, how much stuff do you collect over the years? We certainly haven't put everything back in and we've still got a bit to go. Um, but yeah, we're really pleased so far. The girls are sat down here watching telly. Um, and I'm just setting up the TV in the bedroom area now. So uh, yeah, all good, all sorted. Well, that was our first night in the new caravan, and yes, we did it on the drive, and we had a great time. Uh, we enjoyed ourselves. We've had a few <laughs> issues. Um, I mean, it, I, I guess it's one of those things, it's a totally different layout to what we're used to, um, and it's all about getting used to different changes and, and different ways of doing things, really. Claire has scraped and bruised her leg quite bad. <laughs> <laughs> show us, show, show so, them. Um, as it's she's beautiful. kind of climbing out the back in fact go on then my leg's not shaved I don't think so look the Claire did that that was just climbing out of the bed so there is a sharp edge on Ooh, the... oh Jesus oh no, no. Oh, we've just no. dropped it no my new water bottle a few moments later there's a quick bit of drama spilling a drink on the carpet in on caravan um that was darcy may's water bottle she's gone through about four or five of these every time she drops two, them she spits them two. two. Oh, two is it all right maybe not as much two as in about two. Three weeks. two in about three weeks it's a favorite water bottle and she drops it and it smashes um but anyway carpets come up reasonably well so we're all good there so yeah first night um yeah i love it i think we all love it we've just got to get used to a few different changes and that sort of stuff there we are, our first night in our new caravan, even though it was on the drive. Had a great time, really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, we're going away, uh, it's only a few days actually, we're going away on Thursday nights. So we're gonna be away over the Easter weekend, um, somewhere on a seal down near Cheltenham, but I'll do you a separate vlog on that anyway. Um, but it'll be the first proper trip away in the caravan. Um, do you know what? One thing I probably didn't mention, it's the first time I have actually towed an eight foot wide caravan. Um, and in all honesty, I really didn't find it any different to the normal size one, to the Swift Accord. It was already a big caravan anyway. Um, granted, the caravan was empty, um, but yeah, it just seemed straightforward. I was actually getting better fuel economy as well than I was with the Accord. But again, it was empty. But the Accord was also empty when I took it down to MG. So let's see what happens. Let's see how that pans out. Anyway, why don't I bring this one to an end for now? I hope you've enjoyed the uh, vlog and I hope you like our new logo. And if you've got this far, you'll see the new outro as well. Um, but anyway, all that remains for me to say is thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hit that notification bell and we'll see you on the next one.